Are you ready for another round of amazing solo developed indie games? Let's go! Welcome to a new installment in our series about the best solo developers out there. In this video, we're taking a look at 8 more awesome games started or fully created by solo game developers. 2022 seems to be a booming year for new and exciting video games. With more readily available tools each day, game dev becomes more and more accessible to creative individuals all around the world. Since our last episode in 2021, we've come across even more solo developers with some amazing stories, and we want to share them with you. Now, without further ado, we are Ask Game Dev, and these are eight inspiring solo developed games of 2022. Welcome back. We make videos on how to elevate your game development and inspire others. If after watching this video you want to continue the game dev conversation, check the video description for a link to our Discord server. We're now making fresh Ask Game Dev content on all of the major social networks, so be sure to check us out there, too. First, we have Mr. Sun's Hatbox by Kenny Sun. In this cute and colorful 2D rogue light platformer, you take the role of a delivery truck driver who is set to recover a package stolen from his client, Mr. Sun. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, recovering not only the original, but countless other hats along the way. Gather a team of reformed hat thieves, set up an organization, upgrade your HQ, get better tools and weapons, and go on even more dangerous hat heists. Based in Brooklyn, New York, Kenny Sun is the solo developer behind this slapstick performer. He has been developing games since 2007. Previous games made by Kenny include 2021's Tender, Creature Comforts, 2018's Twinfold, and 2015's Circa Infinity. The idea for Mr. Sun's Hatbox was born in 2015 after playing Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Kenny started prototyping ideas to bring some of those mechanics like the HQ and Fulton Recovery System to a 2D indie game. Due to lack of free time, he left the project on standby for some years, getting back to it around 2019. After two years of solo development, by the end of 2021, he signed with the excellent indie publisher Raw Fury. This was for better marketing and distribution, which, according to Kenny, is not his strength. Raw Fury and Kenny Sun announced Mr. Sun's Hatbox during Gamescom 2022, highlighting it as one of Raw Fury's biggest announcements this year. The game does not have a release date yet, but you can wishlist it on Steam now. You can also follow Kenny Sun on Twitter, where he publishes updates on his development, his life as an indie dev, and tweets from other great devs he follows. Next up is Midnight Fight Express by Jacob Zwinnel, a solo dev based in Poland. Midnight Fight Express is a fast-paced 3D isometric beat-em-up about an ex-criminal that goes back to the underworld. Lured by an AI drone to uncover a gigantic criminal operation, you walk the path of an unexpected hero. Aside from its clever storyline, this game features impressively polished art and scenarios, and incredibly fluid martial arts combat animations reminiscent of films like John Wick. Jacob started posting small fighting prototypes back in 2017, and since then, the path for his game seemed pretty clear – isometric scenarios and cool-looking fighting animations. He worked from the start using Unity, codenaming his game Fighting Force, and was later joined by other talents along the way. Fernando J. Huerto, writer on Destiny 2 The Witch Queen, wrote the story of Midnight Fight Express. Stuntman Eric Jacobus, known for work in God of War and The Last of Us Part II, helped with the fight choreography, and Noise Cream joined in later to compose the game's music. Later on, Jacob also signed with publisher Humble Games. In 2020, Midnight Fight Express was all over the news when it was announced at Gamescom 2020. Updates of the game were shown again at Gamescom 2021, and it was finally released in August 2022 for PS4, Xbox consoles with Xbox Game Pass, and PC. If you want to know more about the development of this game, you can check out Jacob's Twitter, where he's posted countless updates on its process since 2017. Next, we've got to give a shout out to a fellow YouTube channel, Luke Muscat, with his game, Sir Truck. Inspired by vampire survivors, Sir Truck is about a car that shoots other cars to progress and get better at shooting. What's so special about this game is that Luke used its development to create a very detailed assessment on how to solo develop a game and everything related to this process. 
For his video, Luke documented the process of prototyping, consolidating an idea, starting development, implementing game mechanics, stylizing the game's art, and polishing. We found the making of Sir Truck very inspiring, as its developer shows making games is not an easy feat, but it is extremely rewarding in the end. Luke is a professional game developer with more than 16 years of experience in the game industry, responsible for leading the designs behind legendary casual games like Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Joyride. According to his documentation, it took him about a month to finish this game using Unity, Blender, and his game designer notebook. We can't wait to see everything this awesome dev brings to the table, and we're eager to learn more tips and tricks from him. In the meantime, you can check out Sir Truck on itch.io for absolutely free right now. Our next entry is One Dreamer by F2 House. One Dreamer is a love letter to the life of indie devs based on the actual story of its own making. Accompanied by a narrator that highlights his epic story, the game features the life of Frank, a burnt-out indie game dev in a long quest to release his debut title. In this 2.5D adventure game set in a semi-dystopian, not-so-distant future, you'll explore beautifully crafted areas filled with characters you can interact with and objects you can digitally access and modify via pseudocode puzzles based on c -sharp. And you can pet the dog. Gareth Folks, the solo dev behind F2 House, worked on One Dreamer for seven years, and during that time, he posted everything from prototypes to discoveries to business inquiries and discussions on his Twitter. You should really check it out. In January 2015, Gareth started posting small sketch comps with characters and sceneries. By July that same year, he posted a preview that already featured the name and feel of the game. He also announced the launch of a Kickstarter campaign, which was successfully funded just one month later. From there, he entered full development, and after seven years working with Unity, several trailers, and a free playable prologue, One Dreamer is finally out. You can get it now on Steam or GOG. You can also check out the game's demo on Game Jolt. We'll leave a link in the description of this video. Next up is Bulwark, Falconeer Chronicles by Thomas Sala. Thomas recently unveiled Bulwark, Falconeer Chronicles during the Future Game Show at Gamescom 2022. This game expands on the universe featured in his first solo release, The Falconeer. The Falconeer is an aerial combat RPG exploration game set in a beautiful handcrafted sci-fi oceanic world. In a very daring move, Thomas has switched genres with Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles, turning it into an otherworldly sci-fi city builder with real-time strategy elements. Thomas's work as a solo dev started when he received excellent feedback on a Skyrim mod he created called Moonpath to Elsewhere. In 2013, feeling inspired, he started working on a title called Oberon's Court. However, he soon canceled his title deeming it too dark and confronting. He later recycled many of the assets and code of his scrapped project and started building upon a lighter idea, inspired by several aerial combat games from his childhood like Star Wars TIE Fighter, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, Aces of the Pacific, Red Baron, and Crimson Skies. And thus, the Falconeer was born. In 2021, Thomas was featured in a Unity Creator Spotlight episode. In it, he revisits his development of the Falconeer and shares some great insights on his development. Things like how he managed to create such a vibrant and lively effect on vast ocean sceneries and or how he kept his project slim. Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles has no release date yet, but you can wishlist it on Steam now and follow Thomas Sala on Twitter at FalconeerDev to stay up to date with his solo development updates. You can also play the Falconeer on Nintendo Switch, Xbox consoles, PS4, PS5, and PC right now. Following up, we've got another dev with his second solo title. We're talking about Brock, the Investigator, by Fabrice Brenton, who operates under the studio name of Cowcat. Brock the Investigator is, according to its dev, a punch-and-click game, meaning a fusion between the point-and-click and, and beat-em-up genres. Take on the role of Brock, a private detective and former boxer, and dive into a deep and existential adventure in a light cyberpunk world where other animal species have replaced humans. 
This 80s to 90s inspired cartoon adventure is filled with rich narrative elements, fully voiced characters with approximately 23,000 lines, and two playable characters just like old school games used to. Cowcat's first game, Demetrios, launched in May 2016, just six months after its Kickstarter campaign was funded for €4,245. Having received a positive yet fairly quiet response to his game, the French dev Fabrice Breton prepared for round two and started working on Brock right away. According to an interview by GamingTrend.com, Fabrice said, Dimitrios was my first game, and I made it almost entirely on my own. It was a big draft, and Brock is much more refined, more professional in every way. He also launched a Kickstarter for a second game, raising 41,588 euros, far surpassing the initial 12,000 euro goal. According to Fabrice, Kickstarter is not just about getting money. It's a great marketing strategy to make players and media note your game. Brock the Investigator launched in August 2022. It was a success. On Twitter, Fabrice mentioned his new game already had more reviews in 10 days than his first game had after six years. It had also reached a 99% positive rating on Steam. Let's change up the pace with our next title. Lush Foil Photography Sim by Matt Newell Lush Foil Photography Sim is a project that, still in its early beta, displays amazingly realistic and astounding landscapes that you can explore back and forth taking pictures with your DSLR camera. Additionally, each level is filled with secrets, hidden objectives, collectibles, and Easter eggs only for those who take their time exploring. These levels are recreations of real-life places around the globe, taken from on-site photos. The creator of this artistic piece, Matt Newell, is a university student based in Perth, Australia. He started his approach to video game landscapes years ago, creating video clips with SoundCloud music artists. To create the clips, he recorded scenes from beautiful games like Inside, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, Battlefield 1, and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In these videos, he also started to promote his itch.io portfolio, where he was uploading small exploration experiences that he created using Unreal Engine 4. His work quickly started to catch on with many fans who asked for more, and so he started to work on the idea of explorable landscapes, releasing beautiful scenes like Fushimi Nari Taisha Kyoto and Wakamarina Valley, New Zealand, among others. In August 2021, Matt announced he was doing a compilation of his work and releasing it as a standalone title, Lushfoil Photography Sim. This compilation enhances his past work, porting everything to Unreal Engine 5 and adds new levels to explore. Currently in beta and set to launch in early 2023, you can wishlist the game on Steam and access bits and pieces of it here and there. As of this writing, players can download Myrdalsendur Iceland for free and buy Wakamarina Valley New Zealand both on Steam. You can also join Lushfoil Photography Sims Discord server and download the latest beta scenery to help Matt with his development. Last but not least, we've got Lost Soul Aside by Yang Bing. Lost Soul Aside is a fast-paced hack-and-slash RPG that is generating great expectations alongside titles like Black Myth, Wukong, and Forspoken for its amazing-looking graphics and its slick animations and character designs. Although Lost Soul Aside is currently being developed by a team of nearly 30 devs, we thought it was worth mentioning in this list because it started as a superhuman effort from solo dev Yang Bing. Back in 2016, Yang Bing released a trailer for his solo game, Lost Soul Aside, made with Unreal Engine 4. The game looked like something out of this world for a solo developer's work. Shortly after releasing this trailer, Yang Bing was contacted about an initiative called the China Hero Project, being led by Sony. This initiative looks to fund small indie devs based in and around China and help them bring their ideas to a global scale. The China Hero Project is also backed by other giants such as Epic Games, Wacom, and Unity Technologies. With this funding, Yang Bing decided to amp up his development and take his game to another level, building up a pretty decent team of devs to join him. In 2021, Yang Bing released yet another gameplay showcase showing a breathtaking evolution both in graphics and game mechanics. 
He also announced the game was coming to PS4 and PS5. As of now, La Soul Aside is in full development. In August 2022, the team broke an almost year-long radio silence to confirm an update on their development is coming at the end of 2022. You can follow the game on Twitter at Lost Soul Aside to keep tabs on their future updates. Thanks for watching. For more Ask Game Dev, check out this playlist on Solo Devs or this Indie Game Showcase video.